Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Libra. This is going to be for November 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, we're going to take a look at the person that you're thinking of, dealing with, what they have on their mind, what it pertains to you. Uh, could be a past person, new person, current person. So apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about, um, tell me about Libra. The person that Libra is dealing with, thinking of, what is this person, what does this person have on their mind when it, can, it pertains to Libra? For November 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra, for Libra. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Mm, I don't know. Could be a situation that this person's offering an apology here. Now, it could also be a situation where, you know, maybe this person feels like they're not satisfied in, the, in this relationship. And maybe they're not telling you that, okay? Uh, Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Four of Cups. We have the Sun, Leo energy in the reverse. Sun in the reverse. Um, this person has something to tell you, but they're scared to tell you. I feel like they're not really happy in this connection or happy in this relationship here. And it could be a situation that, you know, since you've been dealing with this person and you notice that this person's becoming more and more distant and more disconnected here. I'm not quite sure what the reason behind it is, but it just seems like this person's just not happy. Yeah, this person's just not happy here. Um, let's see, we have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo. And I feel like they're doing everything that they can, everything that they can to change the way that they feel about this or to change the way that they think about this. But I feel like this person just can't do it anymore or that this person just cannot pretend. Now, maybe you're in this position where you feel like you can't pretend to care about someone or love someone when you really don't. Okay, so we have the uh, Magician, Gemini, uh, Virgo and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse here. Yeah, I'm feeling like someone here is starting to feel like they're walking on eggshells with somebody. Yeah, someone here is definitely stressing out over this. Um, it's almost like a feeling like this person just does not feel the same way as you do. You know what I mean? The King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Nine of Swords here. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person is ready to jet and ready to move on from this because I feel like this person doesn't really have, I feel like the Six of Pentacles should be in the reverse. I feel like this person doesn't really have anything to give when it pertains to you here. Okay? You know, one of the things I'm getting here, I feel like the situation is because one person's doing more of the work than the other person. There's a lack of equal give and take. And I feel like that's why this person's definitely getting bored of this or that this person's definitely feeling like they can't give anymore because they've given too much. The Magician, we have the Six of Wands. Tell me the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy. <clears throat> Whoever this is, I feel like this person cannot match up to your expectations. Yeah, this person can, just cannot do it. With the Queen of Pentacles, there's a lack of a stability with this person. There's a lack of balance with this person here, too. You know, I feel like this person is just really scattered, very lost in life. Um, and I feel like what happened was that, you know, maybe this person is a bit of a financial liability and you kept helping this person, kept helping this person, kept helping with this person. And I feel like over time you became drained. You know, over time, you you know, resentment started to build because it became so unbalanced that, you know, you were helping this person so much, this person didn't really help you. Does that make sense? Um, let's see. What else do we have for, for Libra? What else does Libra need to know, look out for, work on when it comes to this connection here? For November 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. For Libra. The Lovers and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this is you. 
this is you, you love yourself enough to be like, you know what, um, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, it just seems like there's a lack of equal give and take, like I said. Like, you know, one person was just really giving really way too much and then another person was not. You know, it could be a situation with the Queen of Pentacles that this person didn't really really quite have a job or that this person did have a job, but they were not really getting paid enough to sort of like balance out the karmic scales here because someone here was putting out a lot, you know, giving up a lot of energy. And keep in mind, sometimes that, uh, that energy, you know, is money. Sometimes that money is currency. Money, money is energy. So someone here was putting out a lot and then another person was not putting out a lot. You know, the seven of wands here and the page of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Uh, we have the ten of wands here and the two of wands. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like what happened was like the burden of the relationship fell onto somebody because of the financial situation that someone here was in, okay? You know, like I said, someone here was putting out a lot and then someone here was not really putting out a lot here. Um, you know, I feel like, yeah, I just feel like you realized that you were giving too much of yourself away to this person here. Um, you know, there, I feel like there was a lack of boundaries here, but I feel like maybe through this experience, you yourself, Libra, you learned a lot about boundaries, okay? Because with the Seven of Pentacles, this is not the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands is an indication that you've drawn the line with this person. You're not giving too much. You're not giving any more. Uh, like I said, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. You have nothing to give. You've given too much. We have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sage. We have the Page of Swords and the Ace of Cups here. Mm. I do feel like there's a lot of love towards this person, you know, and I feel like you want the best for this person, but the, un the unbalanced energy that you have between this person is definitely creating like a bit of a rift. There's definitely like resentment here, like I said, and you feel like you just don't want to stick around and turn into this angry person. So, you know, I just feel like, you know, someone here wants to leave, uh, but someone here isn't ready to say that. Like I said, you could switch the roles if you want. Maybe you're feeling this way and your, your person is the one that's, you know, unbalanced here, unwell. Oh, um, but I feel like, I, I, yeah, I feel like Libra, you're more in the position of like, you know what? You know, I can't give to this. You know, I've given too much. The Ten of Wands here, the the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, the Two of Wands, and the Hangman, Piscean energy here. You know, this is causing a lot of pain, a lot of hurt for you. So I feel like it's in your best interest or that your intuition is stepping in and saying that, hello, you know, it's time to let this go. It's time to move on from this because uh, this is unbalanced. You know, this is unbalanced here. So, you know, I just feel like this is definitely coming into your awareness, coming into your consciousness. Could be a situation that this person kept promising that things would get better or something like that. It just never really happened. Yeah, I, I feel like you've known this person for a long time and I feel like, you know, you're gaining the courage to, you know, stop this, stop this with this person and walk away. All right. So Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.